If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. After you initially set up your sales tax in QuickBooks Online, to then add, edit, or inactivate sales tax agencies in QuickBooks Online, open the sales tax page by clicking the Taxes link in the navigation bar, and then clicking the Sales Tax tab in the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Taxes link in the navigation bar, and then roll over and click the Sales Tax link in the side menu that appears to also open the same page. In the upper right corner of the Sales Tax page are links for History, Sales Tax Settings, and a Reports drop-down. Below that, are different links in a shortcuts section that you can click to perform related sales tax tasks. These shortcuts include tell us where you collect tax, update products and services, double check client addresses, run sales tax reports, and look at past returns. To add, edit, or inactivate the tax agencies, click the sales tax settings link in the upper right corner to show a page that lists the existing sales tax agencies. If needed, to go back to the previous page, click the Back to Sales Tax Center link in the upper left corner of the page. To completely turn off sales tax tracking if needed, click the Turn Off Sales Tax button in the upper right corner of the page, and then click Yes in the confirmation dialog box that opens. To add a new sales tax agency, click the Add Agency button in the Tax Agency section to open an Add Agency pane at the right side of the window. Then use the Agency drop-down to select the name of the Sales Tax Agency. Then use the Filing Frequency drop-down to choose how often you must file with the selected tax agency. Then select the start date of the sales tax tracking for this agency from the Start Date calendar drop-down. When finished, click the Save button at the bottom of this pane to save the agency. To edit the information for an existing tax agency, click the Edit link under the Action column for the Sales Tax Agency to edit in the Tax Agency section of this page to open its details in a pane at the right side of the screen. Change the filing frequency or start date as needed, and then click the Save button at the bottom of the pane to save your changes. Alternatively, to make the agency inactive, you can click the Make Inactive button at the bottom of this pane and then click the Make Inactive button in the confirmation window that opens to stop collecting tax for the agency if needed. Alternatively, you can also inactivate a sales tax agency by clicking the drop-down in the Action column of the Tax Agency section of this page for the tax agency, selecting the Make Inactive command from the drop-down menu, and then clicking the Make Inactive button in the confirmation window that opens to stop collecting tax for that agency if needed. To reactivate an inactive tax agency if needed, click the Settings Gear button in the upper right corner of the Tax Agency section of this page, and then check the Include Inactive checkbox in the drop-down menu to show the inactive tax agencies. Then click the Make Active link for the sales tax agency to reactivate. You can then uncheck the same Include Inactive checkbox to hide the inactive entries again if needed. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.